Hello, in part one we forged out our knife, started shaping the belly of our handle, then we found a vein on Steve's arm. Where do we go from here? Now that we have the belly of our handle forged out, we have to make the ornamental stuff that goes between the belly and the spine, the, the bottom and the top. So here we go, this is mild steel rod. Let's do the piece at the butt of the handle first. I think that looks pretty good. Let's move on to the middle piece. All right, I'll show you more about how that turned out in a second. But here I've drilled a hole into our bolster for our belly piece to insert into. It had to be done at an angle with a carbide bit because the steel one kept turning off in different directions and that should have been a warning sign to me. Long story short, the carbide broke off and I had to break it into bits with a hardened steel piece here and pull the bits out with pliers. Absolutely nerve wracking. Fits really nice though. I think this is going to work well. So yeah, I glued the second part of the middle piece on, by the way. I didn't forge it on because at this point I'm planning on sand casting this piece into brass. So I forged it at all then. Why not carve it out of wax or balsa wood? Because I want the brass to look forged. That was sort of the idea. So now that our hole is drilled, I feel like we can get our quench done and harden this thing up. And yeah, it was, it was tempered after this, so... Oh, what the what? That's brass. Yeah, I know I said I was going to sand cast the piece in the middle and maybe even the one on the butt piece, but I've never done that before. And I saw this guy on YouTube bend heated brass, so I decided to give it a try. Now, I know you can't forge brass, but this guy's video about bending was pretty convincing, so I'm giving it a shot. As you can see, bits are falling off already. Yeah, basically it's not going to work. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna be sand casting. I've never done it, so again, I'm a little bit apprehensive, but also excited if I can pull it off, that opens up a whole new avenue of stuff I can do with some knives, so. Basically, no matter what I do here, one side or the other sticks to the piece. I even waxed the, the forged piece and put a ton of baby powder on it, all kinds of stuff, and it's just not happening. And I think I know why. I'm not here to say that I was doing that right, because 100% I was doing something wrong, maybe multiple things wrong. I've never done it before. All I have to go on is a few videos, confident I was messing that up. But even if I was doing it right, I don't think it would have worked because these, you know, these edges aren't straight up and down. They're 
they're bent, and, you know, so they have pinch points where they, they pinch any sand, um, sort of like a, I don't know, a cup sort of holding the sand, you know, so, so the sand is always going to be trapped in here, I think, in certain areas, because these walls aren't parallel to each other, they're, they're all wonky. Yeah, wonk that. So we're going to forge out our middle piece from this single bit of steel that I've cut down the middle, and then I've got a plan C. The plan is to eventually solder and pin the belly piece in our hole in the bolster area here. We'll have to clean up the scale on the inside of the hole and our piece for the solder to do anything. But even if the solder just keeps things occupied, like the empty space full, then the pin will be enough to keep things in place. I've also drilled holes here in the base of the butt piece you can see there, and we're going to pin that. We're also going to stick a pin up here in the forged spine of the handle through the butt piece. So I've left it unfolded so we can drill and then pin that area. I can't really drill it if everything's spiraled up. Those are 1 16th inch holes and pins. It looks pretty good. Now I told you there's a plan C for our ornamental middle piece, and that was to brass plate it. Unfortunately, the two brass wheels, you know, air quote brass wheels I bought are actually brass plated steel so <laughs> this doesn't really do much. I am curious though let's see what happens if we take a brass rod and color with it like a crayon. So that actually works. I wonder if I can just do that instead of spending 80 bucks on an actual brass wheel. I'm in luck, no need to spend 80 bucks on a real brass wheel. I found a little brass brush at Lowe's for about $3. We're going to dome up one side each of our handle pins because one side has to point towards the inside of the handle where I won't be able to dome them later. Here we go pinning the butt piece to our handle belly. I was worried this wouldn't be very sturdy, but it's actually pretty solid. It'll be even better when we pin the top portion to the top part of the handle. You know, but before we put that pin in, we need to solder and fix our belly piece to the knife. I'm putting flux, then low temp solder in there, and we'll take a torch to it and see if it sets.
and it sets. That's good news. I didn't show it, but it's at this point that I drill through the existing holes in the bolster through the inserted belly piece. Before I pin it in though, I want to pin the top of the handle to the spine so that in case there's a fit problem, I can just remelt the solder, pull the belly piece out for further adjustment and shaping as needed. I had to tinker with the middle piece a bit so that it would still insert into the handle, but so that it wouldn't fall out once everything was pinned up. It moves around a little bit. It's pretty cool. It makes a little clinking noise every once in a while. Yep, yep, getting that blade ground up. Then we'll hand sand it and get some handles on it. Oh, wait, I already did that. It feels so good to say because handles are not my favorite thing. So grinding a knife with handles already on it is pretty nice. It's ground quite thin behind the edge, so even a 17 degree bevel slices really finely. I really like the action on this knife. So I really, really like how this turned out. I, I didn't really think it would turn out this well. It's pretty nice, man. It took a long time, a lot of tinkering, but I think it was worth it. I learned a lot, you know, I think this idea, this concept has some legs to it. I think we could really develop this further. So I'm sort of excited about this. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. Is it comfortable? Yeah, the handle's really comfortable, actually. Uh, it feels pretty good. Is it heavy? Yeah, I mean, it's a little heavy. It's definitely not as heavy as it looks. And I, I don't think it, it's heavy to an awkward degree either. It's actually sort of nice. It's definitely not as light as most knife handles, but it's still pretty cool. And that piece of wiggling around in the middle, I love it. <laughs> it just goes ding, ding, ding every once in a while. So that's it. I appreciate you guys watching the channel. You guys take care.